Hello guys, welcome back to EU4 with the new Emperor update and DLC, of course. So, it's time to start a new Let's Play and I've been talking about a Valakian Let's Play for a long time. I know Valakia is not one of the nations who got a big update here in the Emperor DLC. It was mostly over here, but uh, I'll still do a Valakian one. I will probably run two Let's Plays after we've released a couple of episodes from Val uh, Valakia. Um, so I'm considering a straw poll on what to play after Valakia, or at least a bit later. <coughs> Excuse me. I damn sneezing at an uh, intro. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, I'm thinking uh, maybe Dietmarschen, uh, Milan. Uh, Astorias release and play as, as Astorias and keep playing as Astorias, not forming Spain. Maybe even do a redo of the Papal State. Mm. Venice is also an, a possibility. I have never played Venice as a Let's Play. Um, what else? Was there anything else maybe? Mm. Maybe Bohemia. But Bohemia and Valakia, there's. I know they're not the same, and they're in different locations and uh, s uh, situations. Um, but I guess it will be sort of a bit the same, maybe. But even though we did get the new Hussite Faith, uh, so that could be fun. Uh, yeah, but uh, anyways, this Let's Play will be with Valakia. I, uh, I did a small test run of Valakia, s pff, I don't know, a year ago or something, just to test them out, and I got eaten by the Ottomans rather quickly, so I'm not sure how. We need to form some kind of defensive pact with some big, some majors, maybe Hungary or Poland. Uh, oh, Everest, that could be fun as well. Everett ideas. Legacy of Pyrrhus. Oh, okay. The Catholics. Metropolis of Knowledge. Latin Knights. Anthropod of the Adriatic. Uh -huh. hmm. Some okay ideas. Tolerance of tolerance of heretics plus four. That's a lot. <laughs> Maybe go a humanist Epirus route. Never suffer rebellions at least from heretics. Uh, anyways, Valakia. Let's go. Iron Man. Boom. Uh, I guess local. I don't know. Malakia. And uh, we got, uh, let's see, we have one achievement, I think it's called Dracula's Revenge, which is specific tied to Valakia or Moldavia, um, where you need to own the Balkans as Romania. Here, start as Valakia or Moldavia, form Romania and own or have subject or have a subject own all of the Balkans. Now that's something we want to do, if possible. Oh, Hegemon. Oh, right, we got new um, new achievements. Global Hegemony. Mm, laughing stock. Become a tier 5 defender of the faith as a nation that is neither Catholic nor Sunni. Okay, maybe Orthodox. Can they be become defender? I guess they can. Uh. As revolutionary France, yeah, uh, well, we're not France. Redecorating. As an Orthodox nation, consecrate metro metropolitan in Rome. Ah, huh. that could be a possibility. Redecorating. Uh, hmm. Yeah, maybe those two. Uh, redecorating and Dracula's Revenge. But let's see, we need to survive first, so who hates me? Moldavia and Serbia. Moldavia will f Oh, this is new. Oh, hmm. Slightly stronger army. We'll just redo this. And issue embargo, and issue embargo. Moldavia usually, usually falls to Poland or Hungary. Um, is it lagging? No. Um, oh, new icons. Nice. 
Allow friendly armies. Okay. That's the same, right? Well, I think I want to delete both of my cavalry. We should keep one. Maybe we'll keep one. And buy infantry instead. Up to max. So we'll just do this. And... Mm, let's see... Ooh, states. Alright, they redoed... Uh, re redoed? They redid uh, the states. We have to look at that in a moment. They redo... Redid. <laughs> they redid a lot of things. I'm not going to go through all of it just at once. I'm just going to go through maybe the changes once we stumble upon them. Like here. But I was more interesting, interested in alliances. Anyone close? Someone maybe slightly bigger? Bohemia. Well, let's see. Uh, zero. Poland, Bohemia, Venice. Hmm. Crap. How about Poland? Uh, well, we can't ally, ally both. They hate each other. But... Hmm, Austria, maybe? They also introduced a lot of new provinces. Uh, if you can see that. I don't know. Maybe Spoleto, Bologna, a new tag, Saluzzo. Uh, Bavaria has been broken up into bits and pieces. And yeah, a bunch of things. Stuff here in the Balkans. They also redo it, redid Greece, finally, which is very interesting. Just hope that it doesn't boost the Ottomans too much. Hmm. We'll see. This is now three provinces instead of two. I would like to do an Achaea, Achaea. Let's play as well at some point. Oh well. Um, not now. Okay, we need to get our diplomats home. Should we try pleasing mm, the Austrians, the Polish, maybe the Bohemians, Hungary? Mm. <laughs> we'll see. We should have a truce with... Uh, oh, what? They tell us the Kingdom of Italy and the Empire. For years now, Imperial authority over the Kingdom of Italy has been waning. Six successive Emperors have failed to impose their will on the Italian states. As they have begun to act with total disregard for Imperial laws and customs. Unless the wayward nations... Okay, it's just the Shadow Kingdom thing. Alright. Um, how's our flag again? <laughs> uh, here. December of 49. Right. So we, so we could do this, but... Oh, right, we have unique missions as well. Order of the Dragons. One of the following must be true. Ottomans is a rival? Oh, okay. Oh, any ally who has Ottomans as a rival, right. Bulgaria and Silistria. Interesting. Impale the Sultan. If we took Constantinople, we could... I think you will actually kill their ruler. I think. Let's try out the Turks. Heir of Rome. Hmm. Okay. Unite the Moldavian area. Okay. If you want this stuff here. Found Bucharesti. Conquered Transylvania. That stuff up there. Right. Fortify Romania. Appoint Dregatori. Alright, a bunch of stuff. We don't have to look through that, all of it right now. To form Romania, what do we need? We need... Silistre, Basarabia, Suceva, and Maros. Okay, Romania. Well, we do want to form Romania. All in due time. Now, Vienna. Please don't abandon me. Help me form alliance. Oof. Neutral attitude. Yeah, too many diplomatic relations already. God damn it. You already have five. Uh, well try. Alright, we should probably focus military. Whoops, that's not focus. That's here. Four four eight. Our ruler is Vlad the second of the Draculisti. Was that Count Dracula? No, I think that was Was it? No, I think Dracula itself, like, 
or was it Vlad, or was it Vlad the first who was the quotation mark uh, Dracula dude? I thought he was better. Maybe it is him. Inaugurated 44. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it was his father, Vlad the first. Hmm, yeah, we don't want to do this yet. Expand my luck here. Yeah, I wish. Okay, please, Ottomans, have a really crappy game. Right, so we have to try and find allies before it's too late. We have a couple of years. Well, of course, other than, well, other people than the Ottomans could attack us, say, like Hungary, they usually attack. So we have a fort here, interesting. Do we want to keep that fort? Well, it's, we'll defend them, sort of. They can go around here, though. Would in theory more like to have a fort in well here. But will this become my capital at some point if I complete the missions? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. That's fine. Still making money. Barely. So we are orthodox, right? Yeah. Ooh, defend of the faith. It's all pretty. Uh, oh, 10 Patriarch power, right. Poland makes Moldavia a marsh. God damn it. I need to revoke this. Mm, okay, let's wait for this to be done first, though. Hmm. Okay, and the <laughs> we have a strong Poland in the works, which is sort of good, but also sort of bad. Because we want Moldavia under our control. Hmm. Couple more ticks. Four, four, eight. Yeah. Yeah. So they also redid the whole empire thing here, Holy Roman Empire. Well. More like this here. You can go a decentralized route and a centralized route. Where the centralized route is just like the old one a bit, where you could form the whole Roman Empire. And here you, you just like... You can declare war as the Empire and all the princes in the Empire will help you in a war. It's a bit like the old uh, Vassal Swarm. Uh, which you get here, but you just get it like permanently, sorta. Sorta. Um, and you also redid the whole Curia thing. Uh, in Rome, the Catholics. Yeah. Okay, provoke. Are you like at all close to. <sighs> too many diplomatic. Oh, really? Oh, crap. <sighs> How about Bohemia? Venice? I guess just anyone, really. <sighs> I don't think. I've seen some people like get Albania on their side and didn't use their gods here general to crush the Ottomans, where you set them to follow your army. But getting like Serbia, Albania, Byzantium slash Athens in alliance, well, I guess it would be possible if Serbia didn't rival us. Uh, but I don't think even that would be enough to stop the Ottomans. Eh, gravity crap. Ignore. Oof. Oh right, the estates. I forgot to look at them. Right, so this is new, and it's crownlands mean nothing right now. The estates summon deed, an agenda. What the hell is that? Sale of titles. Sell ten percent of your crownlands to the estates. A bunch of money. These lands. Uh, we have what? Influence. Loyalty is the heart, right? Yeah. Lose 20. That's still 34. 21. 20. Would s rebels may rise up if an estate drops below 30 loyalty. We could also add privileges. 
which does a bunch of different things. Um, short term and long term, not so good. The absolute, absolutism, 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 <laughs> absolutism. Jesus, that was a hard word. Will become lower, but we're not even close to be using absolutism at this stage. Just lose some crownlands, and if if our crownlands get too gets too low, we get like a negative effect here. I think. So I guess you can't assign provinces to estates anymore. Nope. That's changed. Governing costs. Right, they also changed the, the territory thing. So now you have governing capacity. Uh, which I guess we'll look at at some point. It's not really necessary right now. Hmm. The boyars, the nobles. Monthly military power plus one. Oh, damn. Hmm. That's not too shabby. I lose 10 crownlands, or 10%. Boyars in the officer corps. Arms reduction of elites, 30. Oh, damn. Increased levies. Is this dependent on... of their land ownership? Okay. Damn. Taxes lower. But a lot more manpower. Jesus. Military advisor cost. Rights of the council. Has no further modifiers. Uh, oh, it's just boosting their loyalty? I guess. The states can pursue agendas at any time. Clergy, loyalty, equilibrium, and burgers as well. Uh, not sure what that means. Monopoly on mining and smelting. Gain one. Gain from effect. If I did this, would that be a one time amount we got? Or I guess so, because we won't be getting merc mercantilism every year. Uh, that's probably not worth it. Oh damn. I guess we have a lot of livestock. Huh, so if you like need a bunch of cash. And this will be there for 10 years. No live income from livestock. How much livestock? We have one, two, three, four. Okay, so livestock and a bit of copper. Hmm. I guess, can you get plus one? Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. We do want to boost the Patriarch Authority as much as possible. Can you get Expansionist Celetry? Mm, morale up Heretics or Heathens, but down if we haven't been in war with Heretics or Heathens for 15 years. Would the penalty go away when we just went to war with them again? Huh. But it would be down if we were, like we haven't been in war with Heretics or Heathens for 15 years and then we went to war with another Orthodox, then we still have a minus. Alright. But I can't see... Oh, here. But is it worth it giving them more crown lands? Hmm. Bop, 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 bop. I don't know. 100 governing capacity. Can you get more privileges? Hmm. Maybe. I sort of want to test it. So if we went with religious state... That... This doesn't matter. Oh, we just added more stuff here. What the hell? And now we got low crownlands. Oh. Ugh. Okay, it's just a bit fewer taxes right now. Since we don't have absolutism or liberty desire. Okay. So could seize some land. And it went away from all of them. They will lose 20... Huh. If I clicked here, so we could actually do oversight. We could do this and give them all 10, but they will lose 20. But that would still be above 
30, I guess. Okay, uh, let's play a bit. Uh, we'll just do that for now, I guess. Interesting. Interesting. It reminds me a bit of that... Uh, I think there's a mod where it's sort of like a bit the same here. Is it Mew in Texas or something? Maybe they took some kind of a... Gain 5 influence. Loyalty. Influence? What is that? Is that over here? Some that did. I don't know what it is. Uh, the states of Valakia has proposed agendas for the summoning Diet. Favoring one of the states here could have large benefits on the long term. The clergy has are horrified to the persecution of their orthodox brothers in Hunyat. That's in here. At the hands of the Hungarian masters, the man would take immediate action. Oh no. Invest in the prosperity of the lands in Oltenia. Burgos Tigoviste. What the hell is this? Uh, to protect... The clergy horrified, yeah, yeah. Completed when I own Hunyad. Accepting will gain the following effects. Claim on Hunyad, Torda, and Bihar. Hunyad, Torda, and... Okay, these three up here. Is that because it's a... Uh, no, that's two different areas. Huh. Uh, we if conquered... Oh, it expires in 20 years. Oh. Oh, and I have to take one of these things. Oh no. Altenia, base manpower at least four. Uh, Altenia. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, I need to do this twice. Oh. Well, we have 20 years for that. That's base production in Tirko Vista up to seven. That's also two. Now, the good thing about Valakia, they have excellent land. It's like four farmlands and one plains. That's pretty damn good down here as well. Okay, maybe not the swamp, but all this stuff here is also quite good. Uh, I guess... <laughs> mm -hmm. Loyalty? Manpower? I do need the points though for military tech. I guess we'll take burgers. Fine. Eh... Oh. Oh, yeah. Two more taxes. But of course, this went down. I would like to see some land. That they will be fine. Right? 48, 38. Yeah. But they will be fine as well. The clergy, not so much. Well, I guess we could... Uh, I know I've been talking a lot about the, all these things here, but I guess it's sort of important. Like here. Oversight. Yeah. And then seize some land. So we'll seize five estate land. Oh! What? Oh, did I mis miscalculate? I guess I did. Oh, shit. Oh, no. What have I done? Uh, whew, we won. Just barely. Uh, but that's not good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, crap. Can I just do it again? No. Will this go up aut automatically? Equilibrium. Oh, okay, so that's where they will, like, be. It will go up every month. Alright. Okay, so if we just waited a bunch of time. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Patriarch. Oh, the Patriarchy. Oh. Okay. Ah, spooky. So who hates you, by the way? Can I just feel threatened? Oh, help me. Austria ha hates you. No, let's... Yeah. Poland, Mamluks, and Austria. Okay, probably not the Mamluks. Well, I don't know, maybe. I doubt it, though. Uh-oh. It's already over. And I'm without any, any allies. It could be a very short let's play. 
How the hell are you supposed to do this? This changes everything. Hmm. Uh, oh crap. Uh, it's only five ducats. But I don't want to antagonize Hungary too much. Have a claim. Uh, really? Croatia. God damn it. Eh, uh, fine. Oh, minus 20. I guess we'll take this. Goodbye, sweet prince. How are you supposed to survive as Velakia? What's the... How are you supposed to do it? The amount of allies in this region, or people who want to ally you, it's rather small. Who the hell? Ah, that's a Kovina. Yeah. <laughs> that's not really a saving grace. Oh, I meant to click here instead. No dice. No dice. <sighs> Come on, please, Poland. Oh, I guess we can try and appease the Hungarians a bit. Build buildings, yeah. We have to be somewhat lucky, I think. Where the Ottoman stay go to war and fail, but Ottomans failing, it's very rare you see that. They're gonna win this little war here, and then I think, unfortunately, they might come gunning for me. Would be my guess. If I were the Ottomans, I would. I guess. I could... I'm not... Uh, not even a gift would change things. They're still also neutral, but... That would mean only minus 20 again. That's 66. Still... Reputation... That's only plus 4. Yeah, if they didn't have all those diplomatic relations, I think they're actually 2 above limit. That's why they have minus 40. I think you only got minus 20. Yeah, it means you're 1 above limit. I guess. Or what, just at the limit? One, two, three, four, five. And you have a five? Nah, maybe there's just at the limit. Uh. Oh. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Six, four, six. Yikes. So, do I actually start with the general? I do. Vlad. Is that like the OG Vlad? Hmm. What's our ideas? I did I didn't even I didn't even look at them. <laughs> okay, let's look at them before we end. Uh right. Our traditions plus five discipline. Oh that's good. Fort defense plus twenty. Oh nice. Uh let's see. Our first idea cunning diplomacy plus one reputation. Nice. Foreign trade restrictions plus twenty provincial trade modifier. That's okay. Mercenary Guard, minus 15% mercenary maintenance, yeah, that's okay. Foreign Advisors, minus 10 advisor cost, meh. Legacy of the Impaler, plus 1 shock, uh, that's okay. A Boja Regime, plus 1 legitimacy, mm, that's good. Ab aboli abolition, abolition <laughs> of serfdom, plus 20% national manpower modifier, Ooh, that's good. And the finisher is manpower recovery speed, plus 20%, alright. Some good ideas. They're above average, in my opinion. The real dice here, or the real gem, of course, the discipline they start with. Uh, this is also quite good. Quite good. Um, and this is quite good, yeah. So the first couple of ideas, meh. But the last bits here, and the finisher, that's pretty damn good. You can still run... yeah. They didn't change this yet. Consecrate. Spend or expense? Yeah. 
So, a renaissance did pop. It is actually growing. Tico Vista. Uh, could force it to pop. Uh, sort of tempting. But I don't feel safe. Oh, you just went to war. Portugal? What? Oh, you're the defender of the faith. I guess. Huh. How would that work? Jabil Tariq. What? Huh? Oh. What is this war again? Jabal Tariq. Oh, is that here? But they got eaten by... Castile. Hmm. I'm a bit confused. Now, I could take it now and pay the extra price, or we could develop. Now, they had war again, which is good. I wonder if they would move all the soldiers over here. <laughs> then we could strike at them. Or could we even strike at them? I don't think we have a claim on them. Jesus. No. Maybe we should actually get a claim, just for the lols. Hmm. Hungary. I don't think you want to, Hungary. But maybe I'm wrong. Nah. You also have mixed relations. Of course, my army size doesn't help either. Well, we could boost Tigo Vista. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I would really like Poland though. Minus 40. If they didn't have that minus 40 and they liked us, then we would actually be just around the cusp of where we could ally them. We could maybe give them a gift or just boost our army for a for a time. Duh. Oh, what is it the how much do we need to not have this bad crowning thing? Oh it says here. Uh, okay, so at forty to twenty percent with penalties to athleticism below twenty. We get also penalty penalties to our authority. All right, you probably lose some le uh, legitimacy or something. I would guess. Uh, all right. Yeah, yoink. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Increase production. Oh, did oh right. What happens if I clicked it? Oh, we just get to the right. Oh, that was also yeah. Estates, burgers. Did you actually summon a general here? Like you could before? Or did they remove that? Mm, I think they removed that. Now Portugal, I don't think they can... No. <laughs> Defeat the Ottomans on their own. Claim Silestre, sure. Ah, Poland. What do I have to do for you to like me? There's no other real orthodox bit over here and down here. Oh, Byzantium still lives in Moria. Just like in real life. And I guess Trebizond. <sighs> we have a bunch of money. I'm just curious if they removed or took their army over here. They must have, right? For the, I don't think Tunis can beat Portugal on their own. But did they take all of their army? Oh, you know, he's eating Byzantium. <laughs> Interesting. We have what? Feudal nobility? Okay. Income from vassals. Oh, that sucks. Don't have any vassals. Curtail? Strengthen. Mm, I think I need manpower. Fine, we'll boost the goddamn nobility. Well, we have to cut. Hmm. Oh boy, what the hell am I supposed to do? Uh, right, we need to cut, so thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. I very much appreciate your support, and I hope we'll see you next time. Bye.